take a look at evaluating some factors, combinations, and permutations. Let's start with the factorial symbol and what that represents. This is represented by the exclamation mark. Start at the value given before the x mark, in this case 5, and multiply each integer down to 1. So I start at y times 3 times 2 times 1. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I complete the multiplication, and what I get is... 5 times 4 is 20, 20 times 3 is 60, 60 times 2 is 120. You may notice there are calculators and things that will do this for you, but I just caution you that um, if the calculator, if you put something incorrectly in the calculator and you receive an incorrect value, remember, numerical responses with no work shown result in zero points. So you just want to be really careful that you avoid that um, if something happens that you don't have to, um, that you have some work shown to get more credit. For example, if you said something like 115, there had a calculator error or something that might result in um, zero points. All right. Let's take a look at evaluating a permutation. A permutation means you're taking sum of a larger group and order matters. For example, if I have five students and I want to pick three of them, and let's say the order matters. Maybe the first student's going to get an A, the second a B, and the third a C. You want to be that first student so you have um, order mattering. The formula for this is to um, use this formula n factorial over n minus r five total people and n minus r five minus three is two now it may help you to write these factorials out and I'll show you why when you do the math that's gonna help simplify things so I'm going to write out 5 factorial, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and I'll write out 2 factorial. We start at the 2, and we multiply all the way down to 1. Now what you might find helpful is to cancel some of these terms out. This will help um, simplify your mathematics. When we cancel, if we have the same value on the top and the bottom, we can cancel this out. Notice there's a 2 and a 1 on the top and the bottom. They cancel, leaving us with 5 times 4 times 3, or a response of 60. There are 60 different ways I could complete this task. Next, let's take a look at choosing a, using a combination. A combination is very, very similar, except order doesn't matter. I have five students. I'm going to choose three of them to come along with me, and it doesn't matter what order they're chosen in. They're all going to get to come on my little trip, maybe. And the formula we're going to use is n factorial over r factorial over n minus r factorial. And again, the same thing applies. The n is the total number, and the r is the number you're choosing. So if I were to fill this in, I have a total number of 5. 3 factorial would be my r factorial. And then I have n minus r, or 5 minus 3 and is 2. Now a lot of people will try and cancel these out and say I have 5 on top, 3 and 2, that's 5 on the bottom, I'm good to go, I got 1. But you want to be sure to write your factorials out. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. On the bottom, 3 times 2 times 1 times 2 factorial, 2 times 1. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my canceling. I'm going to cancel out the 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. And now I'm left with something on the top and something on the bottom, which is fine. On the top I have that 5 times 4, or 20, On the bottom, I have 2 times 1, or 2, giving me a final response of 20 divided by 2, 10 different ways to make this happen. 
So that's a look at the difference between factorials, permutations, and combination formulas.